Hi all, uh, this is Shripad and Nisar Gear from Team Race and uh, we are going to showcase today customer feedback automation. Uh, I will quickly jump on to the customer case study. Uh, Race Automobile Service Center is looking for process automation with machine learning integration to capture handwritten feedback, classify them as positive and negative. And they are also further looking at uploading the feedback on social media and send a follow-up email to the customer, okay, which will be an automated email, uh, which include, which will go ahead and manage the customer, whether he's satisfied or dissatisfied. This use case is important uh, for race. Now, whilst we do this, I will take you through the ASIS process. The ASIS process is wherein a customer feedback form, which is a handwritten one, is being uh, you know, extracted by a human and it's saved in an Excel. Uh, he then goes ahead and analyzes it as positive and negative as per his judgment. Later on, if the customer is giving a consent to upload the feedback on social media, he goes ahead and uploads it on Facebook, irrespective of it, it is positive or negative, and also sends an email to the customer for thanking him for a positive feedback. And if negative, he starts following up uh, with some voucher and starts to manage the customer. I'll quickly show you how the uh, you know, entire feedback form looks like. This is the feedback form wherein we have name, contact, person, uh, then number, uh, the email address. And we are going to look at comment on the experience in this service center, uh, which has been mentioned at the very bottom. And also look at uh, the content uh, wherein he is giving a consent to post the post on social media. Now how the bot workflow is, now let's go ahead and look at the entire bot run. Hi, let's go ahead and look at the execution part of the feedback automation. As you can see, we are now going inside a scan data folder and inside the scan data, there are multiple handwritten documents. Now these documents consist of name, contact number, email address, and the feedback and consent for social media upload. Yes or no. Now these documents will be uploaded by executive from race service center. And these documents will be uploaded on the OneDrive location on a specific folder, which is a scan data. Now let's go ahead and look at the positive folder, which is empty. Now we will go ahead and look at the negative folder, which is also empty. Now that means once the board is going to process, as you can see on orchestrator, the trigger is just going to execute in one minute. Now let's go ahead, go back in trigger. And as you can see, the bot is now going to execute in a couple of seconds. Now, once we refresh, the bot has started the execution, as you can see on the jobs panel. Now, once the bot has started execution, bot is going to trigger an email to the executive in the service center that the process feedback process and execution has started along with the timestamp and the number of documents. As you can see, this is the outlook for the robot. Robot is sending thank you so much email for those who have written the feedback, which is categorized as a positive using sentiment analysis of AI fabric. And for those which are negative, as you can see, the bot is sending 10% off voucher for the next time visit along with the coupon in the attachment. Now the bot has completed the execution. Let's go ahead and let's look at the email. The bot will send the race executive. Again, a processing processor execution has completed email along with output database. Now, once we open this output database, this is an Excel file. As you can see in this Excel file, we will get all the data which has been extracted from document understanding and also predicted by the sentiment analysis and the Python machine learning. Now you can see feedback, sentiment, media, social media, allow yes or no, which is a consent sentiment captured using AI fabric and future prediction, which is captured with the machine learning model of knife based classifier. As you can see, all these details have been classified and collected together and sent to the race executive on the social media of the Facebook, as you can see the feedback. For them who have given the consent as yes, the feedback has been posted on Facebook automatically using Graph API. And once this feedback has been updated, now we can go ahead and check the folder. Now, as you can see, the scan data is empty, completely empty. Now let's check the positive folder. The positive folder contains the data with the timestamp and negative folder contains the data with the timestamp, which the images are now been classified. Now let's go ahead and look at the Facebook Graph API. This is what I have used. This is the sentiment analysis model, which I have used for AI fabric. This is the knife based X classifier machine learning Python model, which is used for future predictions. Now for best developer practices, we have used RE framework and that's about it.
So thank you so much for watching this video and happy automation.